what a mess this is. The U.S. lawmakers, uh, are they any closer to picking a House speaker? Because we heard there wasn't a vote. Now we hear there might be a vote. Hannah, it has been an absolutely wild day on Capitol Hill. Um, when the day started, originally, Jim Jordan, the Republican nominee for speaker, was going to push ahead with a third vote, even though he lost support in the second vote, and was is going to give it another go. And then we heard Jim Jordan was actually going to suspend his, his uh, bid to become the speaker, and that he was going to back the acting speaker, this uh, Republican named Patrick McHenry, and hoping that the Republican Party would come together behind him so that it, at least temporarily uh, putting him in place until January so at least business could get back to normal on Capitol Hill. And then we heard about a wild closed door meeting of Republicans where uh, Matt Gates, who, who really sort of put Republicans in this spot um, by taking out Speaker Kevin McCarthy. Um, he was told to sit down. He was yelled mm -hmm. at by members of the Republican Party. And then we heard that another lawmaker tried to lunge at him. Um, at the end of the day, the party could not find consensus. They can't figure out which way they're going to go. They're not going to uh, go ahead to uh, try and back the temporary speaker. Jim Jordan uh, is going to run again. Have a listen to what he said. We made the pitch to um, members on the resolution as a way to lower the temperature and get back to work. Uh, we decided that wasn't where we're going to go. I'm still running for speaker, and I plan to go to the floor uh, and get the votes and win this race. But I want to go talk with a, a few of my colleagues. Particularly, I want to talk with the 20 individuals who voted against me um, so that we can move forward and begin to work for the American people. <laughs> So as it stands right now, Jim Jordan does not appear to have a viable path to win. Republicans are not willing to extend the powers of the acting speaker. And there doesn't really appear to be a strategy to move forward, get a speaker in place so the House of Representatives can function. So, OK, after all of that, Katie, where do things go from here? Jim Jordan plans to call another vote sometime today. We're waiting to find out exactly when. Um, there were 22 Republicans in the last vote that refused to back him. Um, some of the speculation out of D.C. right now is he could lose up to 30 votes, that the hill he has to climb is going to get even steeper. But um, this is a sign that uh, there is not a lot of unity in the Republican Party. Um, Jim Jordan, uh, unable to convince enough members of his party to back him, unable to convince enough members of his party to back the acting speaker. And now this, this paralysis continues in Washington. Um, uh, there is concern out of the White House that the longer this goes on, um, the, the worse it is, not just for the United States, but uh, for America's reputation abroad. Um, Joe Biden wants to get $100 billion in assistance to between Israel, Taiwan, Ukraine, and border security money passed shortly. And he can't do any of that until there is some order and some, some semblance of work or until someone's a speaker in the House of Representatives. So um, it's a mess, and uh, it's probably going to get messier. People are lunging at one another. It's heated, it's wild, and we're going to watch it. It's a mess. Katie Simpson, thank you for telling us all about it.